Hello everybody, my name is Marcus Pfister, I'm the author and illustrator of Rainbow Fish and today I would like to show you how to draw a rainbow fish and you will see that's not that difficult. This is my atelier where I'm working the whole day and my desk where I'm drawing and illustrating all my books. So I would like to say let's just start with the rainbow fish. Normally I start with some sketches. That's for I just need a pencil and a white paper. So starting rainbow fish, for first I'm drawing, well let's say like a balloon, it's not a circle. That's so this balloon might be the body of rainbow fish, he needs lips, an eye, and of course a lot of scales. Now I'm drawing the fins of rainbow fish, and as I said, a lot, a lot of scales. You see, first of all, I need to, to check some sketches and the coloring, uh, we are doing that just in a second step. Maybe some bubbles, so we can see the rainbow fish is swimming under the water. Um, sometimes the first sketch is not the best one, so we have just to try another one. So we just could try to change a little bit the, the face of rainbow fish. Maybe he just get up a little bit angry. And so the face that time looks quite different than the first one. Mm, let's do a third one. Mm, I don't like this form here, so just again. And maybe this time he looks a little bit upset. But the fins remains always the same. And again, all the scales of rainbow fish. We could also try to draw rainbow fish one times in that way, so that it just looks into the face, face to face. The mouth. And now it's quite difficult to draw the fins in this perspective. Maybe it could look like that and we don't see even the scales. Rainbow fish that way. I just we could try another perspective. Again the mouth. So now he's swimming on the other side of the sea. So when I did, I did uh, these catches, I just have to transfer them on another kind of paper. Uh, it's a thicker paper, an aquarelle paper, that it's uh, made to color it uh, with, uh, with watercolors. So let's just draw do the sketch again and then I will show you how to use the watercolors. Rainbow fish, the fins, a lot of scales and then you will see my little box with the 
aquarella colors with the watercolors. Maybe we could also draw some water plants and of course the bottles. So now the watercolor technique is quite um, a good one to draw a rainbow fish as it lives under the water. Um, it fits, no? Water, sea, watercolors. Um, we have two possibilities. The one is called the wet, wet and wet technique. So I'm just putting a lot of water on, onto the paper and I will start with the outlines of a rainbow fish now and you will see that way coloring the outlines on a wet paper they become completely smooth you see that they don't have a sharp outline but it looks it makes a little bit this uh, effect of underwater we do the same behind here with a fin so I just can show you the difference if we would do this, this on a on a paper without water it looks like that you see this is a sharp outline and I don't like that so much for an underwater scene so it depends always how wet the paper is uh, I have to check that it's not too wet but then I can choose for the colors for example I can choose to put them on the dry on the dry paper so the scales become more uh, precise more exactly like this and now just showing you for example how to color the face of rainbow fish again on the wet paper now you know a rainbow fish has a blue face so we just need some blue color and you see on the wet paper it's quite easy to have a nice regular surface We can also choose to um, color some shadows. For example, the, the face should become darker on the bottom. So, so we take, oops, that's too, that's too dark. I need blue. Now we just start to color the shadow of the face. So the face becomes kind of a three dimensions. But you know, it, it's not necessary. If you draw rainbow fish that he looks completely equal than my rainbow fish, <clears throat> it's nice. If your fish become, becomes a little bit, looks a little bit different, you can use even other colors. Maybe we can choose to to create a completely orange or yellow rainbow fish, and in the end, it looks like you, your personal rainbow fish. Yes, that's you, rainbow fish. Well, you saw, I guess it's not that difficult to draw rainbow fish. And I hope 
you will have a lot of fun to try to draw your own rainbow fish. Thanks, keep safe and have a good day.